Empowering young people through entrepreneurship and mentorship, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago is helping youth bring their ideas to life and launch their business. Yeah, it's called the Startup Launchpad, and it gives you the opportunity to create, uh, to not only create a business idea, but develop every aspect of your own startup. Quentin Primo and Tyson join us with a look at Startup Launchpad. Welcome to you both. Now, Quentin, you. you are a big deal here <laughs> in the business world. <laughs> no, you've been written up in Forbes yeah. magazine. You're the chairman and CEO of Capri Investment. Um, so you've been very successful. Thank you. So what made you decide, you know what, I'm going to get involved in this Startup Launchpad? Well, a former classmate of mine at the Harvard Business School had this great idea to go into the communities via the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago. He was a product of the Boys and Girls Clubs, and he, he recruited my wife and myself, and uh, we thought it was just a grand idea to expose young people like Tyson mm. uh, to entrepreneurship and all the risks and the rewards. So this is such a great program. You basically take students with mm -hmm. ideas, right. listen to their ideas, kind of like a shark tank, mm -hmm. and then you're deciding which ideas. You didn't like when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his face? Why didn't you like that? It's not the same? Well, we've been told we're not supposed to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Noted. So it's not like that at no. all. No. But you're giving students like Tyson the ability yes to help fund a business. And Tyson, we have so many congratulations for you. Yeah. You're graduating from high school tonight. Yes. Congrats on that. 2023 Student of the Year throughout the Boys and Girls Club. And then tell us about this experience where you got $5,000. I must say, Startup Launchpad is a wonderful experience, first and foremost. Being able to, pr yeah. being able to pitch in front of mm -hmm. so many influential right. investors like Mr. Primo has been a wonderful opportunity to me, and it ultimately confirms my belief that I could be a successful entrepreneur one day. So okay. tell us about your business, what your idea was, and where you're at now. I don't have a patent yet, Okay. but it's a brand new product, and I believe that it will change the fashion industry one day. Oh, and it's a, a hat, right? Essentially, yes. Okay. It's a hat where... Is it, do you not want to talk about it until you get the patent? <laughs> yeah, okay? that's yeah, that's right. a little I mean, nervous. Shut yes. your mouth, G. <laughs> I know. I was like, am I giving something away here? I wasn't born yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I mean, if you can't talk too much about it, we understand until you get the patent. But Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've mentioned this a hat, so yeah. it's yes. essentially a hat where you're able to turn into a cowboy hat or a visor or whatever type of oh, hat you need incredible. for any event. Well, have you always been into fashion? Have you always been entrepreneurial? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, what was it like pitching in, in front of everybody, all these big, important, accomplished <laughs> business people? I felt like I've always had a passion for entrepreneurship and investing because my family is very avid about oh. investing and essentially creating something out of nothing. So my plan is to become an entrepreneur, investor, and following the footsteps of role models like Mr. Primo himself and essentially become and change the business world. And we used to talk about changing the business world. I think a big part of mm -hmm. this too is diversity and inclusion and bringing that into the business world. Right. I mean, so, so many opportunities are overlooked uh, within our communities uh, that are grossly underserved uh, because those that are seeking to develop those opportunities don't realize they're there because they don't have a diverse team working on it. And uh, secondly, these markets, as I said, are typically overlooked. So mm -hmm. it's about exposure, mentorship, uh, enlightenment, uh, all these things the Boys and gr Girls Clubs of Chicago do fabulously well. And I'm sure mentorship is really key in mm -hmm. this whole process. But yes. Tyson, what advice do you have for other you know, people, young people your age that would like to pitch? I mean, was that nerve wracking? How, when did you know, like, I've got a good idea? Like, how did you just, you know? I must say that this idea has stuck with me for a very long time. And I didn't know essentially at first if it was a good idea or not, but going through this pitching process, this entrepreneurship process has definitely confirmed that this is a great idea and it'll change the, first and foremost the fashion industry, but my life forever. So I say for the youth, for the young adults like myself, follow your passion, follow it through, and ultimately if you fail, 
pick yourself back up again because failure is only a lesson. Okay. Sounds like you're getting amazing mentorship. Yes. Oh my gosh, we yeah. wish you nothing but the yeah. best. Congratulations. And Quentin, you. you didn't have to get 10%. You didn't have to give Quentin <laughs> 10% or anything like that, right? 10. Okay. Yeah. 10. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we agreed to. <laughs> Tyson, Quentin, thank you so much thank for being you. here. We appreciate it. For more information, head to BG. CC.org. You can also find them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Get all the information mm -hmm. on how you can participate as well.